Hi, it's Queen Liz. Liz. Hi, it's Teacher Ashley. We're wearing our mask. We're in the classroom. Yes, we keep each other safe. Mm -hmm. And we are going to talk about our activity packets and how to use them. So let's go take a look at them. Okay, let's go. This week, everyone received a brown paper bag with a handout attached to it and two emotion activities inside of the bag. The first activity in your bag is a set of emotion flashcards with both Yurok language and English emotion terms on them. And you and your child can go through these and just look at them, talk about the different emotions, talk about what might cause them to feel that way or how they can get help when they feel that way to feel better. These cards are a great way to begin introducing emotions to your toddler and including Yurok language in their everyday activities. The next activity in your brown paper bag is a emotion felt activity, which came with two heads, two sets of eyes, some eyebrows, a nose, and three mouths. You can use this activity with your felt board that you got in the last packet, or you can just use them with the heads and the facial features. With the facial features, you can make four different emotions, surprised, angry, sad, and happy. And you can use these to help your toddler become familiar with both their body parts and with their emotions. You can first introduce this activity by having your toddler identify the different body parts of the face, like the eyes, their eyebrows, their nose, their mouth, and their head. And then once they've mastered uh, finding the body parts on either themselves or on the felt board, you can then extend it to have them help you create different emotions. And you guys can talk about uh, what might cause you to feel those emotions and how you can help your body when you feel those emotions. All right, so in addition, an extension from the emotion theme, we dived into diversity and unity topics. And one of the ways to introduce this to your toddler is by reading books. So we came up with the idea of you reading a book to your toddler and we made a homemade coloring book that includes these topics and also has different pictures of the eight different students in our classroom, converted it into a coloring page for your toddler to color with the skin toned crayons. And they also have extra paper in skin toned color also. Lastly, we added a song, it's called Slippery Fish. There are four different props and different sizes. This would be a great way to talk about the animals and the sizes. There's also a ocean background laminated and there is lyrics off to the right corner for you to sing with your child and a QR code when you take a picture will send you to the YouTube video to play. We will also be using this for our play group next week, Tuesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Hi, I hope everything's in your pocket. Yeah. We'll see you 